So Kareem Hunt is close to being a Kansas City Chief again. And honestly, if you're a Chiefs fan, you're loving this news because we know what Kareem Hunt did when he was part of the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, he was a very good player for us. Actually, very good as an understatement. He was an above average player for us. He was looking like the best running back in the league. I mean, Kareem Hunt was an absolute beast. I mean, he's 29 years old. I feel like he still has something in the tank. He had 411 yards last season with Cleveland and nine TDs. But him going back to the Kansas City Chiefs will make a lot of sense right now because we know Isaiah Pacheco is injured and that's not a good thing, right? Isaiah Pacheco is injured and the running back room, it just looks pretty thin, man. I mean, it, it doesn't look good at all. You got CEH who's not even playing. He has, he's fighting, you know, some type of issues right now. And then you have a guy like Michael P. Ryan who's literally not going to be playing or starting with us. And then you have Samaj P. Ryan who he's not going to look too good already because he doesn't even know the playbook, you know. And then you have Carson Still who is a rookie running back and we don't know what to expect out of him. So getting Kareem Hunt definitely helps this Kansas City Chiefs team out a lot. And it makes a lot of sense getting him. You know, I love that they're hosting him on a visit tomorrow. Adam Schefter said that, so it is confirmed Kareem Hunt is being hosted on a visit. He is being hosted on a visit. And Pacheco's out for a while, so it makes a lot of sense to bring him in. It's not a bad, it's not a bad move at all, if you ask me. And the other guys they just don't have the same burst as Pacheco Kareem Hunt probably doesn't have the same burst as Pacheco as well but at the end of the day he knows the system you know he's been very very good with this team throughout his career and he hasn't even shown too much negativity in Cleveland I think he was all right in Cleveland I mean when you got Pacheco that's going to be sidelined for six to eight weeks you have to bring in a guy like Kareem you have to bring in somebody good that can help fill the Chiefs running back void because there really is a void right there and now that he's visiting the Kansas City Chiefs, I honestly believe that he's going to be signed, obviously. So Kareem Hunt and Carson Still, it's a good depth. Good depth. That's good depth right there. So Marjorie P. Ryan, the Chiefs is making good deals, bringing back guys that helped us, you know, be a good team. And that's Hunt. That's Juju Smith-Schuster. Team is looking very, very good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm loving what's going on. You know, I'm loving what's going on. I'm loving what the Chiefs trying to do. They're just adjusting to what's happening to them. Losing your running back one, you got to get somebody back. I mean, you got to get somebody to replace that production in some type of way. I can't believe he's back on the Chiefs, though, to be honest with you. That's honestly crazy. I never knew the Chiefs would even take him back. But the Chiefs bringing him in for a visit, I think is going to help us a lot because I can see Kareem Hunt putting his soul into this season I can see it being a special reunion because this is where he started his career you know like this is literally where he started his career at and that gives you a spark and a motivation and imagine we could win a championship with Kareem Hunt that would be amazing that would be amazing we win a championship with Kareem Hunt the guy that started his career with us that's good. Now, has Kareem Hunt lost a step? Is what everybody's probably trying to figure out. Is Kareem Hunt going to be the same Kareem Hunt that he was with us when he first was on the Chiefs? Now, the answer to the first one is, did Kareem Hunt lose a step? Obviously, Kareem Hunt has lost a step. I mean, he's 29. He's not his problem no more. Is he going to be the same Kareem Hunt that he was when he first joined the Chiefs? No, he's not. It's due to the fact that he's 29 years old. But this doesn't mean that Kareem Hunt wouldn't be a pretty good running back or depth running back, depth piece, you know, in the running back room, he would be absolutely good, if you ask me. I think he would definitely be good because, like I said, he knows the roster. He knows the team. You know, he knows the offense in general. Not, not really just the roster, but meaning like the offense in general. When I say the roster, he's used to playing with guys like Kelsey, you know, Mahomes, and he's under Andy Reid. Like, he knows that. But he knows Andy Reid's offense, you know. He knows what Andy Reid's offense. He knows Andy Reid's offense. Like I said, man, I'm going to continue to say, 
to me, it just makes perfect sense. You know, it, it really does. When Isaiah Pacheco set the miss significant time with the um, fracture to his fibula, the Chiefs they want to re they want to reunite with Kareem Hunt, who's their veteran running back. You know, he was a, he's a veteran running back, and it's, it's according to multiple reports. I mean, Hunt is slated to visit with the Kansas City Chiefs on Tuesday. You can literally go look on Twitter if you don't believe me. You think I'm making that up? Nah, that's not. It's not made up. That's real talk right there. And Hunt, he was a Chiefs third round pick in 2017. He led the league with 1,327 yards, rushing as a rookie with the Chiefs. He also caught 53 passes for 40, I mean, 455 yards. So obviously Kareem Hunt could do both. He could receive and he could run the ball well, which is very, very good. Something that the Kansas City Chiefs is gonna need. He's a stud. You know, he's, he's a very, very good player. He did pretty good in 2023. 411 rushing yards and nine touchdowns. That's all right. It's not the best. It's not, you know, Derrick Henry. It's not Christian McCaffrey. But it's obviously a solid performance, especially when you're not the starter running back. So that's something could definitely build up on from there. But I just can't wait. I mean, stuff like that is just exciting. You know, you're giving Hunt a chance to come back. I really do want to see him win a championship with the Chiefs, man, because imagine, you know, getting kicked off the Chiefs when you was in your prime and it's a very good player. And then you get re-signed by them randomly in 2024. And then you win a championship with the team that you was drafted to. That's something that's very, very special. And I would love to see that outcome for Kareem Hunt, man, because... I mean, the guy is a great player. You know, there's no, there's no taking away from his talent. He's a very good player. He does what it takes out there on the field. Like basically, when I say does what it takes, he's gonna pick up first downs. He's gonna catch flats. He's gonna do what he needs to do. So, it's it's definitely a good signing if we do sign him. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna sign him because I don't really see us vi- like letting him go on a visit with us and we don't sign him. So I feel like the Kansas City Chiefs are definitely going to re-sign Kareem Hunt, and he's going to have a very, very good um, season with us, possibly. Losing Isaiah Pacheco for at least 12 weeks is definitely, well, six to eight weeks is definitely not something ideal, and he, we, he could possibly be out for longer because 12 weeks, you know, that's the normal left for injury, but they're saying expected six to eight weeks. But we don't really know, man. It's just, we're going to have to see what happens. And hopefully, everything goes well for the Kansas City Chiefs. And Kareem Hunt could possibly revive himself. It's been your boy, Chiefs Priority. Sorry if I wasn't really on my A game this video. I'm pretty tired, but I'm out, man. Peace.